Hey friend, if you are visiting Rocky Mountain National Park, you need to get on the trail. This park has so many good hiking trails, but today I wanted to talk specifically about some of my favorite easier trails. So if you're not wanting to be out on the trail all day, if you don't wanna be up in the mountains, you know, gaining that major elevation, uh, if you don't wanna be just hiking for hours and hours, then these are the best easy hiking trails in Rocky Mountain National Park, and I can't wait for you to hit the trail. My name is Ash, I'm a former park ranger and the founder of Dirt In My Shoes, and I do think that the national parks are best seen from the trail. So I'm really excited to talk to you today about some great options for you to get out on the trail without too much hassle and without too much work. So let's talk about my favorite easy trails in Rocky Mountain. The first trail that you should definitely do is the Tundra Communities Trail. And what's cool about this trail is you'll find it in the high reaches of the Trail Ridge Road. And so, you know, you're up close to 12,000 feet above sea level at this point. And what I love about this Tundra Communities Trail is that it takes you through the tundra landscape, which is somewhere that most people honestly never get to see because it typically is in those really high elevation mountains and uh, you usually have to hike very far and very long to get to these areas. And so at Rocky, it's really cool because you can actually drive here. You can walk along this Tundra Communities Trail and really learn about this unique environment and how fragile it is and see something that you probably haven't seen before. The Tundra Communities Trail is only one mile round trip. It gains about 200 feet of elevation, so you are working your way up the hill, but along the way there's little informational areas where you can read more about what you're seeing. And then when you get to the top, you know, you've got just really beautiful views of the surrounding mountains. This trail is great to get out, stretch your legs as you're driving along the Trail Ridge Road, really learn some more about what you're seeing. Um, so that you can better appreciate just what it is to be that high above sea level. So uh, I love doing this one. You'll also find the Forest Canyon Overlook nearby, which is a great stop. And if you go a little bit further up to the Alpine Visitor Center, there's a trail there that you can take through the tundra area as well. So that's a really good one. Um, but there's a few different shorter options in this area that are really cool for seeing this particular landscape. The second trail you don't want to miss is the trail to Alberta Falls. And this is a really nice trail. It's a good family friendly option as well. Um, you're gaining about 160 feet of elevation, so it's not too bad. Uh, it's a nice gentle walk through the forest to a beautiful waterfall. And who doesn't love waterfalls? So it's a really nice stop. Um, I love doing this one with my family. This trail is 1.2 miles round trip. You will make your way to the waterfall and then the trail continues past there to some of the more popular longer day hiking options in Rocky, such as the famous Sky Pond Trail. And so that's all in this area here. Um, you can hike along the trail beyond Alberta Falls for a minute if you want to, uh, but to keep it somewhat simple and easy, uh, Alberta Falls is a great turnaround point for this trail. It's nearly impossible to get parking at the Glacier Gorge Trailhead, which is where the Alberta Falls Trail starts. And so what you'll most likely want to do is either try to get parking up at Bear Lake and then you can hike down from Bear Lake to Alberta Falls. Um, and that's a really good, easy solution to that. Or, you know, you'll want to park maybe at the park and ride or somewhere else along that Bear Lake Road to catch the free park shuttle that will then take you to that Glacier Gorge Trailhead where you can start your hike. It does get a little bit messy in this area of the park. It's very busy. Uh, it can be difficult to navigate. And so if you need any help like using the shuttle or knowing uh, where to park and when to be there so that you can get parking, 
then check out the Rocky Mountain itinerary that I have on Dirt in My Shoes. That will help you immensely navigate through some of these busier areas of the park where these hiking trails are. Third, the Chasm Falls Trail. I love this trail because it's another waterfall, which I just think, I mean, is there anything better than a waterfall in the mountains surrounded by trees? I don't think so. So the Chasm Falls Trail is really nice, easy walk from uh, one of the parts of the park that a lot of people overlook. And so uh, I'm excited to tell you more about this trail. Okay, so you get to the Chasm Falls Trail by driving the Old Fall River Road. And the Old Fall River Road is the original entrance into Rocky Mountain National Park, actually. And now it's a dirt road. It's pretty well maintained but it is a dirt road that is only one way. You can only drive up it. And so you'll wanna keep that in mind, you know, as you uh, plan out your time and stuff, you know, you'll, if you wanna stop at Chasm Falls, you have to do it just as you're working your way up because you can't turn around and go back. But um, this road travels from down in the valley of Rocky and it takes you all the way up to the Alpine Visitor Center which is um, also, you know, where the Trail Ridge Road goes on a different route. Uh, but the scenery is different. It's a different experience. It's slower. Um, you take your time. You're really just like soaking in those views. And it's not as busy because it is a one-way road and it is a dirt road. So a lot of people don't take this road when they're there. As you drive the Old Fall River Road, you will get to the Chasm Falls little pullout area. And then at that point, it's just a quarter of a mile to the viewing platform and back to see Chasm Falls. So it's really simple and easy, but it rewards you with beautiful views for very little hiking. So I love this one. This is one that I love to do with my kids. Um, and it's also wrapped into another experience, which is driving the Old Fall River Road. And that's really cool. For my next favorite easy hike, I'm taking you over to the other side of Rocky Mountain. And so we're going over to the west side of the park, which is much, much less visited. Uh, it's not as well known. People don't typically spend as much time over there. And so you will have some really nice solitude on this side of the park. Um, side tip, this is also the best side of the park to visit if you're hoping to see moose. And so if you really want to have some nice solitude, if you want to try your luck at seeing some moose, then head to the Coyote Valley Nature Trail. The Coyote Valley Nature Trail is one of my favorites, honestly, because it just follows the river. It's super flat. It's really short but it follows the Colorado River as it comes out of the mountains. This is like the headwaters of the Colorado River right in this area. And so the river isn't the big massive river that you see, you know, as you get down south, like towards the Grand Canyon and things like that. Um, this is where the river is born, basically. And so I love being in this area. You've got mountain views everywhere. Again, you have a really good chance of seeing a moose uh, while you're in here. They like to hang out in this valley here. And so I love taking a stroll along the Coyote Valley Nature Trail, finding some solitude and seeing some wildlife. This trail is one mile round trip. It does stay mostly flat. What's really nice about it, it is is that it is wheelchair accessible as well. And so that really opens up the opportunities for everybody in your group. There are a couple of other short trails that I like on this side of the park. And so if you're over here, um, definitely check out both Adams Falls. That's a really nice trail down closer to Grand Lake and the Holsworth Historic Site, which is very similar to the Coyote Valley Nature Trail, but it takes you out to an old dude ranch and you can tour some cabins. Um, they have activities there for you. They've got volunteers that will give tours through some of the buildings. And so that's a really fun and immersive experience as well. If you're over there and you're wanting to keep the hiking pretty simple, see some moose and just visit an old dude ranch. So I really like the Holsworth historic site as well. And you might as well do both while you're right there in that area. For these last two easy hiking trails, we're heading back to the busy side of the park and to the busiest part of the busy side of the park, which is the Bear Lake area. So um, the next easy trail that I really like is the Bear Lake Nature Trail. 
And this trail basically, it just works its way around Bear Lake. And Bear Lake is a really iconic lake in Rocky Mountain. It's beautiful. You've got Howlett Peak behind, which is a really cool and distinctive mountain. And then you've got the beautiful lake. And so this trail goes around the lake. It's partially wheelchair accessible. You can't go around the whole lake in a wheelchair, but uh, parts of it you can. And it's a really nice way to enjoy the scenery of Bear Lake, uh, especially as you get to the opposite side of the lake than where the parking area is. You know, it quiets down a lot back in there. And so that's a really nice option if you're looking for a good easy hike in that area. Now, I do have to mention that while you are in the Bear Lake area, you know, if you decide to do the nature trail or not, um, while you're here, there are so many good hikes in this area that you might want to consider, especially if you're looking for a really nice day hike, but not something too long. Um, so I would definitely recommend, if you can, hiking the Emerald Lake Trail. And that leaves right there from the Bear Lake area. Uh, but that trail takes you to three different lakes and it's spectacular. It's so beautiful. Uh, you don't have to hike the whole way to Emerald Lake if you don't want to. So um, it's about a half a mile between each lake. And so you'll get to Nymph Lake first, which has really beautiful views of Long's Peak um, from the one side. And so that's a really nice one. And then you continue on another about a half mile to get up to Dream Lake which is probably my favorite of the three. It's so beautiful. Like the pictures you get from there are just gorgeous. And then beyond Dream Lake, if you want to make it all the way to Emerald Lake, it is about another half mile, but that's where most of the elevation change comes. And so that is the hardest section of the trail. But I do recommend doing the whole thing if you can. It's about three miles round trip. But if you can't, you know, you can just hike to one of the lakes along the way. And that's a really fun way to spend your time as well. You can also access Bearstadt Lake from the Bear Lake parking area. I really like doing Bearstadt Lake from Bear Lake. That's a really nice option. As well as like if you want to hike even further to uh, Lake Odessa, that's right there, uh, which is a really cool hike too. So there are a lot of great hikes in Rocky. It's just, you know, once you start getting a little bit beyond kind of these more flat nature trail hikes, um, then you are talking about some pretty good elevation changes and, um, you know, some longer hiking options. So keep that in mind, though. There are a lot of options here if you're wanting to do some longer day hikes. The last easy hike that I wanna to mention today is the hike around Sprague Lake. This is about a half a mile walk and it goes around the lake. It's really beautiful. You've got great views of the mountains and the Continental Divide from here. Um, my kids love this one because a lot of times you can see fish in the water as you're hiking around it. Uh, we love coming here during the fall. There are always elk in this area and they will bugle for you like crazy. So um, I really love this area at different times of year and for different reasons. But um, the, the little trail around Sprague Lake is a really great option if you're just looking to get out, stretch your legs. Um, there's a nice picnic area right there and it's a fun area to hang out in. Okay, I hope that's helpful to have my list of my favorite easy hikes in Rocky Mountain. If you need help getting to these hikes, if you're wanting to know how to plan out your days so that you can hit all of these, then definitely check out my Rocky Mountain itinerary on Dirt in My Shoes. I will walk you through how to get to all of these things. Um, I will show you some other really cool kind of off the beaten path hikes um, that are also really family friendly and good for people of all ages and skill levels. And so that's an option as well. I'll also help you time your trip so that you can get in there and get parking uh, at all these busy trailheads and not have to be stuck in the crowds all day. So I am so excited to help you plan your Rocky vacation, especially if you want to get out and do some hiking. I am here for you. Uh, so be sure to click over to dirtmyshoes.com if you need any more help. I also have additional videos about Rocky, so be sure to check out those if you're looking for more trip planning help as well. And I wish you all the best. I hope you have a fantastic time hiking in Rocky Mountain National Park.